Here's a New Year's resolution. Try something fun in 2019. How about modern square dancing? That's right. With us right now, we have a modern square dance caller and instructor. Wendy Vandermeulen joins us. Hi. Hi. Okay, so you've been doing this roughly 31 years? I have been. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so obviously you have a love for modern square dancing. You bet. It's the yeah. most fun thing you can do. Okay. So tell us about it then, because um, people think about square dancing, they think about old-time country music and hay bales and stuff like that. That's not the case. Not the case at all. Okay. That, that really is old-time. Mm -hmm. uh, the modern square dancing we do, we use all different kinds of music. Anything that has a good beat, we can dance to it. So we dance to jazz, we dance to Dixieland, we dance to classic rock, we dance to hip hop, we dance to alternative music, uh, even some gospel, believe really? it or not, we can dance to it. So if the beat is right, we can dance to it. That is super fun. Okay, so you have the Intro to Modern Square Dancing. It happens Thursday, January 10th. Where does it take place? Carlton Heights Community Center okay. on Appledorn Avenue in Ottawa. Okay, so now this is for all ages though, okay? Because, And I'm not trying to stereotype, but sometimes you think about square dancing, you think maybe it's an older crowd, but all ages can participate. All ages can participate, you, you bet. Uh, seniors seem to be the most people that do it because they seem to have the time because mm -hmm. it's hard for other people. But it's great for any adult because it's good exercise. Not only that, it's fun. It's to, actually, I always say it's too much fun to be exercised. Mm -hmm. And you're dancing to music, you're with a group of people. It's the most social dancing you can do because you do it in groups of eight. Mm -hmm. And it's good for the brain because it keeps the brain, you have to pay attention to what's going on. Mm -hmm. And we see clips right now, a clip of uh, people just modern square dancing, and it looks like you're just always on the move. Pretty much, that's yeah. what we try to do. That's so what we try to do. Should you be in shape before you attempt this? <laughs> not, not really, I, because it, it's, it's low aerobic. Yeah. So it's actually a good way to start getting into shape because yeah. it's easy to it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you were talking about some of the health benefits, obviously, uh, yeah. not only not only the body wise, but mentally. Mentally and social. I always tell my dancers when they first start, when they're in for the first time, it says there's three things about square dancing that's really good. First of all, the physical activity. We figure that we, in a two-hour dance night with breaks, because we do take breaks, a person will walk about two miles. Hmm. Uh, it's good socially because you have to interact with people. So it gets you out, gets you in with people. And it's good mentally because you have to interpret what the caller tells you to do, and then you have to do the steps. So you mm -hmm. have to really be paying attention. You can't let your mind wander. Yeah. So it's good for the brain as well. So oh, you'll be knocking things. into somebody as well. You, you gotta pay attention. You do. Yeah. <laughs> you, you <laughs> okay. do. Okay, so now I mentioned that you're a modern square dance caller. Okay, so, so does it take a lot of practice to become a caller? To, to become a caller or is it, it? Yes, it does. Yeah. It, uh, I actually danced for 18 years before I even decided to take up calling. Yeah. So I was a pretty good dancer, so I understood a lot of it. But there are, we, we actually have courses for callers hmm. that we go to. I've been to caller schools yeah. uh, several times. Yeah. Or you have a chance to practice what you're doing, and they'll critique what you do and yeah. practice okay. with dancers. And yeah. So I understand you're going to sample some for us. Now, is this called a call sequence? It's, it's yeah, yeah, that would be it. I don't have any music, but That's for an okay. example, something that would start would be, like, let's say at the very beginning of something, we'd say, bow to your partner, bow to your corner. Do an alamand left with your corner. Back to the partner, do a do side o. Four boys make a left-hand star. Turn it once around. Pick up your partner with an arm around and star promenade. <laughs> now, ladies, backtrack. Anyway, and we could just go on and on and on because we go for about 10 minutes, then we, we actually divide dancing into two bits, one where we practice and then a singing call because that's one thing a lot of people don't understand about modern square dancing is we sing. Mm. So there are familiar songs out there and yeah. they can be very modern. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. Traditional stuff. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so clearly, I mean, people have to learn what those moves are as well because you said a lot of stuff there that seemed a bit foreign to me. Well, yeah, it's, it is like learning a new language, yeah. but it's easy because, of course, we do it one step at a time. You know, like circle left is an official square dance call. Mm -hmm. Not too hard to do. <laughs> well, you know, you're talking to me, so I, well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, we always tell people, as long as you know your left from your right. Yeah. So, so two left feet then isn't an, an excuse if people say no. that they can't dance, they it, can't. Two left feet doesn't matter as long as you have a right and a left hand. Yeah. That's the important thing. All right. Okay, so give us uh, those details one more time on how people get on board for this intro to modern square dancing class. Well, you can find it on my details on my website, and or you can even just show up on Thursday night, January the 10th at 7.30 at Carlton Heights Community Center. Okay, so about how many people can you fit into one room there? The room that I have will hold, I'd say about 32 to 40. Mm -hmm. So it's comfortable, so, it's social, and people will get their exercise. You bet. They should probably yeah. put on their Fitbit to see how many steps they actually... Actually, that, a lot of dancers do that. <laughs> a lot of dancers do that. Okay, compare notes at the I end of the night. <laughs> well, thank you very much. WendyVan.ca for more details. We appreciate your That's time. It. Thank you very much Lots for Lots of fun, and thank you for being here as always.